Good evening from Australia. Um, hi, it's Susan. Um, I haven't been back in a few days because I've been very busy watching YouTube videos. Um, something I noticed today actually, I've been on YouTube or watching YouTube videos for seven years now. Um, I love YouTube, I really do. When I dis discovered YouTube, I like, I felt like, oh, I'm kidding a candy store. Like, I can, you know, look up whatever I want and find so many interesting topics. And um, that's why I do want to do a video one day of all of my, all the people I've subscribed to, all the channels I've subscribed to, because every one of them, whether they be funny or um, serious, um, um, <clears throat> your foe type theme or Bigfoot, uh, extraterrestrials, Mandela effect. Oh, what is it? There's a lot of there's a lot, a lot of little rabbit holes, uh, as they call it nowadays. Um, <clears throat> so many, so much to learn, and that's what I like doing, learning. So, anyway, I don't want to ramble because. That's annoying, you know. Um, I did want to give you a little spiritual tip. Um, a little tip. It's something that I found is was a really cool thing when I when I learned about this um, many years ago. Well, actually, I grew up um, reading my mum's books. Um, <laughs> don't freak out, <laughs> they're astrology books. My mum was has always been into astrology and of course that gave me interest as well. Astrology is amazing and it's not just the star signs and oh, I'm an Aries so that means I'm a bitch or that means I'm a nice person or a bad person. It's not like that, it's everyone's individual blueprint of where they were in the world when they were brought, bought in, brought, born into this world and where the stars were aligned and that sort of thing. You're either into it or you're not, but very much into it and I, I find the subject, the subject fascinating. So <clears throat> I started reading a lot of Linda Goodman books when I was much younger, like between 15 and, 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 and older. And I got, I do have most of um, Linda Goodman's books. There is one that is um, called Goobers, she wrote. Um, and it was sort of like a spiritual poetic journey of hers. Um, I found it interesting, but a lot of people would have gone, hey, what's she up? <laughs> but she was much older when she wrote that. Um, so anyway, what I did learn, I did learn lots, but what I did learn, because not only was this astro, you know, astro, astrological, but also numerolo, numerolo, numer, numerology, okay, I'm getting a little tongue twisted here. So I learned a lot about astrology and numerology. And I learned that the word cancel, C-A-N, C-E-L is meant to be a word you can use if you know those moments when you think oh shit I shouldn't have said that you know and you wish you hadn't have um, I've taught my kids I've taught everyone I know this say cancel just cancel just cancel it out say cancel don't dwell on it, don't ever say it again, you've learned your lesson, you know. So it's one of those, it's a word where I can't, I really can't describe how that works. Like I could try, but it's not my words, it's what I've learned. So, you know, I don't want to have to dig out books and, um, and sort of that way and sort of work out, um, 
the exact page that I learnt that on, but it's just something that I learnt. So just a tip. If you don't have to say it out loud, you just say it under your breath. If you if you sort of say something, you think, oh, God, I shouldn't have said that. Just the, oh, cancel, cancel, cancel. <laughs> Oops. Just, I'm just putting it out there and that's that. Okay, so I did do another reading. Um, I wanted, <laughs> I've got, I've got some notebooks. I actually went to the shop the other day and I brought a little pack with five little notebooks and I've just been writing down notes because there's so much I want to share, but so little time. I mean, like, I don't want to make these videos boring. I do want to share some stuff because we all, we all want to learn. That's what we're here for, to learn from each other. <clears throat> And uh, I'm not going to ride on anyone's coattails. I'm out here on my own putting these videos out. For seven years, I used to save things, um, videos that I saw and that I liked that I wanted to share. So I used to think that if I pressed save, that they would get saved, which they did seem to get saved, but someone would watch them because it was my way of sharing. Then I realised, hold on, no one's watching these, I don't think, the, the, the things that I've saved. Um, there was heaps and heaps of it <laughs> over seven years, you can imagine. <laughs> and then I realised, hold on, I've actually got to make an appearance, not just save things, and I have to actually be here up front, hello, meet people like normal and have a chat um, and this save thing <laughs> it didn't work <laughs> and so I'm not really sure what goes on there, I might have to ask some more advice because like you guys know I'm only just learning at this, I've got my L plates on and I'm just trying my darndest. Um, <clears throat> I did want to quickly tell you about a, uh, a little funny story about koalas okay uh, okay in Australia we have koalas they're not koala bears because they're not bears they're koalas they look so cute oh they're adorable they're so gorgeous but I'll tell you what they're not cuddly well they are cuddly but probably only to other koalas <laughs> if you ever have a look at a koala and look at her, their claws you'll think hold on yeah, if those claws get stuck into you because they need those claws and that to claw on trees, well, you're in big trouble. Um, I've heard koalas hiss, like, <laughs> you know, like, okay. Um, not humans, but just koala fights. Now, <clears throat> where I lived before, <clears throat> this is this is an amazing story, I think. Um, where I lived, um, actually, it was about 10 years ago. My youngest was about eight. So about 10 years ago and up the up the back we were sort of out the backyard and up the backyard going towards the back fence which was a six foot fence and it actually had a tree in actually built in that fence I don't know so some, some someone with a sense of humor built that fence left the tree in and sort of worked around it but anyway um, so koalas, they eat eucalyptus trees. We didn't have eucalyptus trees near us, so I don't really know why the koala was going through there. But anyway, it was obviously a mummy koala because it had a little baby on his back. It was like, oh my God, oh wow. As koalas running up the back of our yard towards the tree, first thing I freaked out about was uh, the dogs because we had dogs. So I think we could, someone quickly put them in the house or whatever. And as the koala, mummy koala, went to go up the tree, the baby, well, before, just before the tree, the baby fell off its back. But the mum just kept on going. And I'm like, oh no. And I've quickly run to the baby and I've picked it up with my hands and I've gone to my ex partner, what do I do? Because by then, the mummy was on its way up the tree. And I couldn't reach her by then because she'd gotten up a bit high. So he was sort of, here, take this baby koala. And he sort of 
popped it on the mum's back. So koalas, mummy koalas, do not get Mother of the Year awards, I don't think. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, I don't know whether it's a stone from their eucalyptus leaves. <laughs> I don't know, but she wasn't going back for the, for her baby, I'll put it that way. Um, she was just going to piss off and leave the baby there and that would be in the end of that. So I'm really, really glad we got to intervene and pop Bobby back on Mama's back and that was the end of that. But that was her a story I did want to share with you. It's true, fun. Um, but yeah, um, koalas aren't really sort of in our trees all over the place. It's it, Like I said, they eat eucalyptus trees. So uh, yeah, and... Um, they have, they are protected species. Oh, I did want to tell you this, and I did actually want to film it because I think it's funny. I think it's hilarious because my joke is, how do the koalas know? So as you're driving along the roads, you'll have these big concreted um, sign on the bitumen saying, and it'll be massive all across the whole road in big gr green. It'll go, koalas crossing here be on the road there'll be little koala signs and I'm thinking did the koalas get the memo do they know they're meant to cross there they've even which I think is really awesome <laughs> you know I, 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 I joke I, I do jest but I think it's I think it's great they even have um, over some main roads like highways or whatever and I'm not sure where but I can't remember where the big over highway sort of um, bridges that are not made of, they're not <laughs> for koalas. <laughs> so uh, it's amazing. It's really great just because no one wants to see a splattered koala, possum or whatever, like on the, on the road. That's really sad, you know. Um, in our residential areas, we do not have kangaroos jumping all over the place. That's in the outback, the bush. Um, they're mighty feisty little effers, <laughs> apparently. Um, have, yeah, have padded koalas, done all that. You go to the Gold Coast, go to the bird life sanctuary or whatever, and your tourists would do that. So, of course, when you live here, you do that through the school system go on excursions like that. Pretty awesome stuff. Anyway, I'm running out of time. Look at that time. I'll have to be really quick. So I did do this reading. Okay, first card that came up was, you can do it. Now, what was weird about that was that card came up the other night and um, I thought, hmm, okay. Then the next card that came out, now what when I shuffle, I do... I do, when I shuffle, I do pick fly outs. Some of them just ping, fly out. I'll grab that card because that's meant to be. Um, if it's just a fumble, no. But if it flies out, well, then, yeah. So that's why I was like, okay, you can do it. Then the next one was flow of prosperity. And the next one was the power of joy. So... Um... You could do it, yeah, a flow of prosperity. So someone's being encouraged to, or just has to be reminded that they can do it. They can, they can. Um, they have the, they have the backup, they have the, they have the people, they have the knowledge. With it will come a flow of prosperity. I did write down notes. Um, um, you've got to let go of perfectionism and you'll be fine. Um, yeah. Now, the... Um, Sorry, the you can do it card, yeah. 
um, was it the Archangel Michael, yep, from the other night. The Flow of Prosperity was the next card, which has really tripped me out, to be honest. Um, Lakshmi is the, excuse me, um, the Ascending Master. She's a Hindu goddess of pro prosperity. Um, what can I say other than um, the money that you have been asking for? I'm sorry, you probably didn't see me. I'm, I'm sort of in another state of mind, I suppose. I'm with the cards here. Um, the prayers about money have been heard. They have been heard. Your prayers have been heard and are being answered. You have the support too. Um, you have to visualise and affirm that prosperity. You know, just see it in your mind's eye. Think, yeah, mm, yeah, it's coming because you are doing it. Now, the last card was the power of joy. Um, I love this card. Um, I love this card. I'll show you why because you haven't seen this card. A cute little Buddha. A happy power of joy. <laughs> He's so cute. So you just want to rub his little tummy. Um, now I did look at the, so the power of joy, his name is, uh, actually they did tell you how to say it. <laughs> Maitreya. Okay, it's spelt, it's, it's spelt, it looks spelt different, but how to pronounce it is my Maitreya. Uh, he's also called... Hote, Hote, but I love him, and of course, look at that rainbow, isn't that gorgeous? There's a power of joy there. Look, that smile, that smile, that's what it's all about. So, that's the last card, it's a laughing Buddha, that's who he is. Um, follow your desires and outcomes, follow the path of joy. Um, Stay positive, filled, uh, filled with faith, uh, manifest your desires into reality. Um, help yourself and others. Heal through the power of joy. Now, that makes sense to me because I love comedy. I secretly would love to be a comedian one day. Maybe. <laughs> it does say here, enjoy a good laugh. Develop hobbies that give you pleasure. Awesome. Now, when I got those three cards, I thought, okay, okay. But then I went, oh, I went, whoa, who is this reading for? Who is this reading for? Who is this reading for? Um, I, 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 put, I pulled an extra card and I I didn't want to do the bottom. I didn't want to, I just shuffled, shuffled. I didn't actually... No, it did jump out. It did jump out, but um, but I meditated. I shuffled for a while because I just kept on thinking, "Who's it for? Who's it for? Who?" I mean, does it give you names like? And obviously, <laughs> or I'd have a Ouija board or something like that, and then I'll I, oh, I'll be hearing bumps in the night. <laughs> I'm just joking around. Okay, so what came up was. And it's come up before when I'm saying, who is this reading for? And it came up, Priorities, King Solomon. I thought, okay. Now, I read into it. I thought, okay, I'm asking who, but I've got Priorities and King Solomon. So, I borrowed my daughter's glasses. Just so I can read, because I just want to read this this little bit out, and then I'll let you go, unless you're already gone anyway. <laughs> okay, so priorities, King Solomon. Devote time to your highest priorities, even if it means getting to bed early or later. This is a wonderful time to work on projects that are near and dear to your heart, even if you're on, even if you're confused about how to approach the project, 
or you fear whether you'll be able to accomplish your dreams, do it anyway. You'll feel elated by the time and energy you invest into your true priorities because your inner self will feel loved and well cared for. As you invest in your priorities, you're investing in yourself. I like that. Um, additional meanings for this card. Let go of procrastination and for perfectionism. Break your major goals into baby steps and take one step at a time. Revamp your schedule so that you devote regular time to your priorities. Be assertive in saying no to anything that diverts you from your path. Okay. Now, I just want to read a little, read a little bit about King Solomon at the bottom as well. And, and then maybe if this resonates, this re reading resonates towards you, well then, here's your reading. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, so the last bit. King Solomon ruled Israel following his, the death of his father, King David. Solomon was a wise and open-minded uh, open man who understood the power of the goddess, power of the goddess, thanks to the influence of his many wives. Solomon used spiritual alchemy to build the Temple of the Ark of the Covenant, based upon architectural plans that his father had received in heavenly visions. Um, yeah. Um, it does say, call upon King Solomon to resolve dilemmas, dilemmas, to build new projects and to foster tolerance among various religious and spiritual paths. Hmm. Tolerates among various religious and spiritual paths. Well, that's one thing I've learned, tolerance, because I've, there are so many different religions and spirit... Uh, I've got to just say, I, I, I have a loving for all, as long as it's in the right direction, as long as it's for good, as long as it's to help people, well, then that's okay, you know. Um, I believe in Jesus. God, of course. <laughs> um, but, yeah. That is a message for someone, just to be tolerant of other people's beliefs as as well. Anyway, that was that reading. I, I sort of thought it was a bit odd because the same card's coming out, but maybe the message hadn't gotten, to, hadn't gotten out there yet to the right person, or maybe it had and they need to be told again. <laughs> just like kids sometimes, you know. You've got to tell them a couple of times so, so they get it. Anyway, I better go. I did start the day off today, having a great day. I woke up and one of my favourite YouTube channels was on, um, doing a live stream, Paranormal Highway. They're really great. Um, have, uh, Eric is the host. Um, he has uh, great shows on, um, but because of the hour difference, time difference, sometimes his shows are on at, say, two, three in the morning, so his live streams, I mean, yeah, so sometimes I miss out on those, but I just watch the replays and that's okay. Um, yeah, so that was a good way to start the day, a coffee, <laughs> a coffee and um, a little bit of Paranormal Highway, a little bit of chit chat, there's good people, beautiful people out there, um, cheers, <laughs> I drink coffee, I'm a drinker, yeah, coffee. Um, so yeah, that was my Thursday and it's Thursday evening now and I might actually have an early one. And look, it's nearly 25 minutes. Oh my goodness. I don't blame anyone if they don't watch it all to the end, but that's okay. It's all good. I want to wish you all a great day, a great night, a great day, wherever you are in the world. Be kind, be kind to yourself. And be kind to others. Um, yeah, do something nice for someone. Oh, just quickly. Oh, I don't think I've got it written down. My daughter, one of my daughters was telling me about this new app where people are hiding things around the world. And uh, where did 
right down. And I thought, oh my goodness, that sounds like fun. It's called Geocatcher. You you got to um, get an app. It's called Geocatcher app. And apparently they have people hiding stuff around the place using this app. It's like, oh, that sounds like a bit of fun. You know, I don't know. <laughs> but I'm just saying, um, yeah. Uh, I don't have TikTok, stuff like that. So um, my daughters send me any funny TikToks that they think I'll get a bit of a giggle out of. Um, so that's pretty awesome because, um, like I said, I haven't got time for TikTok or Twitter or Instagram. I don't do all that. Um, like I said, it's been YouTube for seven years and just a little bit of TV. Um, I go on Facebook once a week to watch my mum. She does um, readings, which is so wonderful. Um, but other than that, yeah, it's, I'm, a, I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I'll let you go. Uh, love to all. God bless. Bye.